Hello YouTube, Mikey Cal here, and today I'm doing a special video because uh, one of my viewers but that goes by the name Critical actually informed me that he has been using the nightly builds of Blender and discovered that we finally have a text overlay effect strip. And this is something that is probably the most common issue that uh, users of Blender are, are bumping into when they're using it as a video editor is how do I simply just put some text over my video? And I came up with a couple videos that showed you how you can render stuff in the 3D viewports and then import it as a scene. And the problem with that was it pretty much takes forever to render out the text because it's a text object in the 3D scene. and it just it's ridiculous uh, the amount of time that it takes to just do simple text so I always wanted a a simple way for us to just do a basic kind of movie maker Windows Movie Maker style uh, text overlay uh, something that doesn't require us uh, to take a lot of time to do uh, text overlays so let me show you basically how we used to do it or how it still can be done uh, typically I would go to the 3d viewport and I would uh, you know, have a camera and uh, set up a text object, you know, in that camera, and I would set it to have to be shadeless, and then this would be just for one, uh, one text object. You know, we imagine doing this times, you know, a hundred or something like that. Then we go back to our video editor and we go to add and we select add scene, and now we have to go over to blend and we go off over, and we have our text overlay. Now let me show you guys what happens when you render a object from the 3D scene, like text, over our video. I'm going to click the animation button, and I want you guys just to watch how long it takes my uh, uh, Pentium, or no, sorry, it's an Intel uh, i5 to to render just one second of video, and that's 23. 0.98 frames per second, so that's how many frames we have to go through. So I'm going to click the animate button and just watch how long until we get to one. Clicked it. We're on the fourth frame, fifth frame, sixth. Here we go. There's 10 frames. This is taking quite some time. This is just for one second of video. Still not there. And there we go. We are now at one second. So I'm going to stop this. That was ridiculous, right? So now let me actually just do the same thing using our new effect strip. I'm going to hit delete and I'm going to go to add effect strip. And we have this new option right here, text. And I'm actually just going to stretch this out over the entire length of this to Six five zero. Oh, there we go. Now I'm going to go over to the strip properties, right click on the strip, go down, and we have this little section right here where we can type in whatever we want. This is a test. Now you don't see anything on the screen because it's too small. I'm going to actually size it up. Okay. And I'm going to put a shadow behind it and I'm going to auto center it. There we go. Now let's actually just hit this animation button and see how long it takes us to render just one second of video with text overlay. Done. Now, is that just ridiculous? <laughs> that is, that's amazing how uh, much faster that is. So I'm so, I'm so happy right now that we actually have this as an option. Um, and this is going to be something that I, I will definitely use um, on a regular basis, and it's going to solve a lot of problems. Now, it's not necessarily the most beautiful uh, text. It doesn't really give us a lot of options yet, but I'm, I'm so happy to see that they're really thinking about um, these things. These things are important to people who are doing you know, regular video editing with Blender. So this is why I love Blender. Blender is a, you know, we got new features every, every what, 12 weeks or so? And uh, um, we're finally getting them to focus a little bit on the VSC. So thank you to all of you guys over at um, all the Blender developers who are, are working on this stuff. I really appreciate um, your hard work. And my, my purpose with my Blender channel is just to be one more guy who tries to help people see 
how wonderful the Blender program is, not only as a 3D modeling program, but as a video editor that can be used cross-platform. So I will see you guys in the next video.